Good morning. Okay, good morning. I'm just here with Patrick and we're on Soisambu Conservancy and Patrick's going to be showing me around the colobus monkeys. Uh, there's quite an amazing program that happens here with rehabilitating colobus monkeys from Mount Kipapiri, is that right? Nyandarua. From Nyandarua. From Nyandarua. Kipapiri Forest. And what's happening up there? Uh, there have been uh, encroachment, human encroachment in the forest. Okay. So cutting down all the forest, so we have the habitat loss for the colobus. Yeah. They have nowhere to live. And why is the habitat being cut down? Uh, the peoples are looking for uh, ground for doing agriculture. Uh, and the charcoal, and the charcoal. And the charcoal. Yeah, they are cutting the logs yeah. for charcoal burning. Over 90% of people in Kenya cook over fire and they use charcoal because it burns without smoke. Yeah, a lot of the forests in Kenya get destroyed to create charcoal. Unfortunately, a tree takes a lot longer to grow than the length of time it takes to burn. So it's pretty sad. These beautiful monkeys are having their homes destroyed. Luckily, there's Soisambu and they are being relocated here. Uh, my name's uh, Muze Patrick. I'm in Soisambu. I do uh, colobus monitoring. We're walking around um, the forest here, we're chasing monkeys. Uh, sometimes when you are in the forest, it's hard to spot uh, the colobus monkey. So uh, mostly what you look at is uh, the tail of the colobus. So because the tail is always hanging, even if the colobus is resting or not in movement, so you can look at the tail. So far, since we started the activity of translocation, before initially, initially we had about 10 individuals of colobus. When we started bringing in, we brought in uh, two groups. So, so far, we have been able to bring in seven groups of uh, colobus. And in total, we have been able to bring in uh, 68 individuals of colobus. This is the colobus sleeping tree. In those territories, uh, they tend to identify some uh, sleeping trees. This is their territory. They are a group of six of them. They are not uh, uh, early lizards, or they don't uh, wake up very early in the morning. So you find that they wake up some hours uh, after the sunrise. So this is the colobus cage. This is where we uh, put uh, in the colobus when we bring them from Kipipiri. Uh, the reason why we put them in the cage is for them to uh, get used to the environment of Soisam or for them to climatize with the environment of Soisam. Point that uh, from uh, Kipipiri, since we have no trees, uh, the colobus live uh, in the rocks. Uh, in the cliffs. So uh, when they come here, uh, they get a, a different environment where they have to uh, live in the forest. Uh, we have the trees, we have no trees uh, in Kipipiri. So that's why uh, when you look at the structure of the cage, we have uh, trees uh, inside the cage so that when we release them, they can go up to the trees. The long crested eagle will always like to follow the colobus. So whenever you see it around, know that the colobus are around. My work is uh, post-translocation uh, post monitoring. monitoring, And actually what I do is that uh, I monitor the movement of the groups. Uh, I monitor them in their territory. When I come to uh, diet sampling, I observe what are they feeding on. The leaves, the fruits, the buds of the tree, uh, the flowers. But you find that mostly in Soisambu, uh, the, uh, the composition of the, uh, the forest mostly is the acacias and the fruit trees. So that's what they feed on, the young leaves of acacias and the fruit. It's thick bush in here. If you do want to come to Soisambu and you do want to look for the colobus monkeys, make sure to ask for Patrick. He knows his ways around this forest like the back of his hand and he's a brilliant guide. So yeah, ask for Patrick. 
we have had uh, a reward of our efforts to save the colobus because uh, here in Suisambu, the colobus have found a haven or a home to live in. We have so far, we have uh, 14 babies being born here in Suisambu. So you can conclude that Suisambu is a, a good place for the colobus. I have a passion of being a uh, of doing conservation, encounter with the wild animals is so cool. You fight the buffaloes, uh, you fight the snakes, so it's very, very enjoyable. So apart from the job, uh, you get to enjoy being uh, in, the, in nature. So I just want to say a huge thanks to Patrick for showing me around. Uh, what a day, I've learned so much and we've been trekking through this amazing forest. So the, the Kenya Colobus Trust is being set up and their main task is to relocate colobus from endangered forests all over uh, Kenya and bring them to forests like this in Soisambu that are protected. Uh, but there is a big problem of course with corona and everything going on in the world. They've run out of funding. Uh, so if you do have some spare change lying around or you do want to donate to help save these colobus to help bring them to a habitat that they can live in without sort of the danger of human encroachment then please do get in touch with Soisambu Conservancy and yeah do donate uh, it's a very good cause and your money does go to something worthwhile and if you want to keep learning more about Soisambu Conservancy and the amazing work they do here to save the wild animals, make sure you subscribe to Mufasa Mike. And I will be doing an episode at some point where we catch some colobus up in the mountains and we bring them down to Soisambu and rehabilitate them here. Um, we'll be covering the journey from start to finish. So if you do want to learn more, remember to ring the bell as well, subscribe, and yeah, perfect. See you guys next time.